Okay. So, Joe Biden is running for, possibly, running for president. <clears throat> He's got a bunch of stuff coming out against him right now, naturally. Because nobody knows nothing about you until you start running for president. Nobody's digging. Nobody's wondering what's going on. Until you start running. So, what are his chances? Let's say he does run. Well, these is too new. They don't want to spray it. I have to spray it, cards. They, so, what are his pres What is his chances? Chances for um, being president. Let's see. If he runs, what are his chances? These are brand new, so they're all sticking together. Joe Biden. Two of Cups. First card. Unity. There's a bond. The world. The world stage, completion, full cycle. But, you know, always a beginning to one thing and is, or ending to one thing is a beginning to another. So, big picture, full cycle. Ten of Pentacles. Secure home, so you don't really need to run for president. But you did do it once before. So this has probably always been a dream of yours. The Hermit. Searching for answers. Deep Thought. The Ace of Chalice. So we seem to be having some attachment to this is how it feels. Like... Like, I don't know if you and Hillary and y'all had the talk to say, okay, Hillary first, eight years, Biden next, eight years, or what the talk was, because I think your best chance to be president was right after you were vice president, sir. The nation was still loving Barack Obama, still is to this day, especially since anyway. So they were really loving him by relation loving you so that was your primary time so what was the hillary think about so now here you are trying to run for president since hillary's not or let's just say if you were running for president right now um, these are your chances but i'm not getting chances so far all i'm getting is attachment like you're attached to it you really want this whether you're going to go through with it is a whole different thing, but you are definitely attached to it. The Page of Pentacles. So your money is there. You have no problem with um, donors. Here is you, um, the wise old sage, and then here is the new money coming in to you. So you can get money. Family is secure. Your emotions are invested. Big picture and alignment with others so the democrats would be behind you so your fear stagnation interesting interesting that was the hangman so you feared being stuck and not stuck in the presidency, like stuck in friend zone. Like we want work or Buttigieg or 
Kamala or one of them other people, we don't want you. You know, like, you know, thanks for playing, but not really. So, that's your fear. This is your hope. Five of Wands. Interesting. Um, this deck is quite interesting itself. Five of Wands, but there are only four people. And then two cats at the bottom. Um, five, of, five of Wands is about fighting and bickering in politics. That's his hope. I think if he were to start running for president, a part of him would want... I'll just say it. A part of him wants to sort of squash the progressive wing of the left, like that, the Justice Democrats, as they call themselves. Like, they, like you can come and have the conversation, but we're more establishment. We're more, we're old Hollywood, you know. Like, this is the way things were always done. This is the way things will always be done. Like, okay, with the Ocasio Cortez energy, but here we are with the establishment energy. So a part of him wants to get in and shake things back up again. But is that really a good reason for running president? But anyway, in your environment, should you run Ace of Pentacles? Money is there. It is there big time. Like, you have no problem raising money. Like, even more so than O'Rourke. Like, you have the money. The money is there. Secure family. This and the environment, like Page of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, like you got the money. So that will never be a problem. Behind the scenes, Nine of Pentacles, even more money. Like this is security. This is this is established. Like you're 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 sitting good. Like kind of you know, like Hillary, quite honestly. That Gary guy and that other lady and Bernie, like, they never really stood a chance against Hillary. She was the household name. She was the big name in politics. She's the Clinton, for God's sake. So this is kind of you. You're Biden. You were the vice president of the United States. You have a whole lot of things that you could lay claim to, even though they weren't really accredited to you because you weren't president, but you were the VP. You were there in the midnight hours when Osama bin Laden was being hunted down. You were there in the midnight hours when they were killing those pirates. And like you, you were you were that guy who was there behind the scenes with Obama and walking with him and talking with him and crying with him and arguing with him and agreeing with him. And this was you. You are the established guy. So this part is this is you're sitting good. You're sitting pretty, as they say. That's what's going on behind the scenes of that money. Uh, your word of warning. <laughs> this is kind of what's happening now. This slow trickle of garbage, of secrets, of salaciousness, of I have to make a now on a statement so that I could, you know, address this kind of thing. It's all this little slow trickle of stuff. The moon is revealing things, but it doesn't reveal it all at once like the sun. Even in the sunlight, there is still shade. and the shade, there will be secrets. But this is like slow illumination. The moon just lets you know something is there, but you can't quite make it out. So, the slow trickle is not doing you good. That's your word of warning. Throw it all out there now. Neil deGrasse Tyson is what I think of when I think of you, because... Joe Biden, I don't really think he, um, like, sexually assaulted or harassed anyone. But maybe you were a little too touchy. Maybe you're a little too hands-on. You crossed the line because this is something people in your position always have done. You've been immune to things for so long. Or you've been around people that say, oh, that's just Joe. But that's not okay to just go up and start touching people like that. 
And Neil deGrasse Tyson is the same way. Do I think he's a pervert? No, of course not. But is he touchy with people? Yes, he is. He touches. He, he's a hands-on person. That's what he does. And so that's you. You're not a pervert, I don't believe, but you are too touchy. So throw it all out there now. Get all the little stories that you could possibly think of up out there. Put full illumination on it. That way it doesn't come back to bite you with this slow trickle business. Your word of solace is seven of swords. A keen strategy. So if you do run for president, I think your chances are good. The nine of wands, an uphill battle. It will be an uphill battle because you are establishment. And not only are you establishment, but you're going up against some very popular people in the circle right now. The field has not been like this. Bernie is running. Kamala Harris is running. Cory Booker is running. Beto O'Rourke is running. Um, Peter Buttigieg is running. He's already in office. He's a mayor, so he's got some, he's got a fan base already, if you would call it. Um, so you got some people to contend with. I um, said Marianne Williamson is running. She has her own core um, base as well. And you are running against one of the most unpopular people in the world. So, like, the only way Democrats lose is to disenfranchise their base and for Donald to cheat. That's, that's the only way he's going to get in. Only way. Because people have learned their lesson in these four years to take you behind out and vote. And to not vote for a third party because this whole, what's the, the, that guy, the Starbucks guy, like, like, get out of here. You know, don't split the Democratic vote. Otherwise, that's a vote for Trump. That's the way they will see that. These cards don't want to spread. No. Okay. We have to break them in some more. So, let's look at, well, let's just do it like this. So, the Eight of Chalice, the Devil, and the Queen of Swords. Right now, someone's trying to get you to walk away. That's why all this stuff about your past and, oh, he touched me and I feel bad. Reason why all that's coming up right now, you are battling the vindictive side of politics. Because this is the best way to do it, especially with the Me Too is still alive and well. Queen of Chalice, Two of Pentacles, and the High Priestess. There is a woman out there who has a story that could be quite damning. So beware of that. Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, and the Emperor. There is yet another woman. We've got three so far. Yeah, the actions and the man in charge. So this is somebody that worked under you. The Wheel, the Eight of Swords, and the Death. So this does bind you. And this may also end your campaign. Six of Swords, Four of Wands, and Three of Swords. Yeah, so painful transition with the Six of Swords, the Four of Wands, there's your White House hopes, and then there's your separation with the Three of Swords. The Fool, the King of Chalice, and the Five of Swords. There is a man behind all this. Not a woman, but a man behind all this. Uh... I don't know, maybe that's you, but I think it's a man behind all this, because there's a water sign man. I think you might be a water sign. But Five of Swords is a defeat. So your early start is a defeat. Your chances don't look good if you let the slow trickle happen. But there is a woman who could... Because Democrats cannot get away with the whole... Like, look at Elliot Spencer. Look at Anthony Weiner. They can't get away with sex scandals. Republicans can't. That guy, I forget his name, who brought his mistress to his press conference, they can do those type of things. You cannot. His chances don't look good 
especially if he does not get in front of his own mess. So word of warning to you, Joe Biden's slow trickle will kill your campaign.